Good morning, Mola. KG, that word sums up the display between Côte d'Ivoire and Egypt last night. It was a nerve-wracking affair, a real tactical battle, an exciting 0-0. Another great advertisement for African football. 34 shots taken, 11 on target. Again, the fans were treated to some great entertainment. It was a real wear and grind affair. None of the two teams made any huge mistakes for 120 minutes. If only you knew what that means in football. Until the dicey penalty shootout, when one of the best players on the night, Manchester United's Eric Bailey, walked up to the penalty spot and executed a Jorginho trademark penalty, which didn't fool Abu Gabal Ali, the Zamalek goalkeeper who had replaced an injured El Shenawi. Pontianus Lawong sat through the post-match statements. Captain Mohamed Salah has shot the pharaohs of Egypt to the 2021 Afghan quarterfinals after Cote d'Ivoire's central defender Eric Bailey saw his penalty stopped by Egypt's second-choice keeper Mohamed Gabel Ali. Carlos Queros, Egypt's head coach. Taking consideration the number and the open opportunities that we have, I feel that we deserve to win the game even during 120 minutes. But uh, Agri Coast also, they play fantastic football, uh, brilliant players, a brilliant coach. Cote d'Ivoire versus Egypt is the Africa Cup of Nations most played fixture, certainly amongst the toughest, and the 11th confrontation lived up to expectation. Entertaining football spiced with swift offensives and counter offensives. Several squandered opportunities as well. No goal on either side after 90 minutes of play. The Elephants therefore go back home after the first three games unbeaten. Patrice Bommel, head coach. It was a tough game for the boss team. So the two teams get some uh, opportunities. But at the end of the day, we went through the extra time and the, the penalty shootout. It's uh, part of luck. Congratulations to Egypt. But I think uh, out of that, uh, it was a, a very good game. It is the fifth time Egypt are progressing to the next stage when facing Cote d'Ivoire in the knockout stages of the AFCON. Three times through penalty shootout and the most recent was in 2006 when they won 4-2. Arsenal's Mohamed El Neni grabbing the man of the match accolade was a pointer to the fact that the main battleground was in the middle of the park. Japoma watched a beautiful game with Cote d'Ivoire, making 555 passes with an average of 80% accuracy. Only four yellow cards and probably the only round of 16 game without a red card. Mola, a penalty shootout is cruel. And again, the Ivorians experienced its cruelty last night. After providing most of the entertainment of this tournament, they become the next big name squad to be knocked out. Can you imagine who missed? By Lee, who had been one of the top performers on the night. A bitter pill to swallow. Agony in Abidjan, bliss in Cairo. Permit me gossip a bit about the fans. Can you imagine? They booed the Ivorians, the same team they had carried to victory against Algeria, simply because of some social media feeds that I honestly can't unpack here. It was in this hostility that the Ivorians left Japoma, and it sets the stage for a cheeky 2023 AFCON in Côte d'Ivoire. I am sure they won't forget. Let's hear how the players from both sides reacted to this emotionally draining high-stake game. We are so proud of ourselves. We have to keep going and uh, focus for the next game. Bon, comme vous pouvez le voir, hein, déception, grosse déception. Voilà, on s'attendait pas. On avait prévu aller un peu loin, mais bon, ça n'a pas été le cas. Et nous sommes des footballeurs professionnels. On va essayer de, voilà, de, de se relancer avec d'autres matchs. Aujourd'hui, nous sommes déçus. Après avoir sorti un gros match, nous perdons au tir au but, mais on a beaucoup appris durant ce match. On va s'en servir pour, pour se préparer pour la canne à la maison. My feeling was we can go very hard, very far in this competition. But we have to accept this is sports and at the end of the day, fair play is important. How is Eric? And how, what are you doing to try I and just, help him pick I, him up? Yeah, he was uh, a bit down, very down. He was crying and it was very hard. So I went to, I hug him and I, I just said, uh, you are a big champion. What he has done during the competition, he's shown that uh, he's a big champion. And all the big champions miss penalty. I have so many examples. So for that, 
you know, when you lose to the penalty, you, know, you have nothing else to say. Just hard luck, but uh, I'm proud of the boys. If I check all the games, it was one of the most exciting games and tactical games. They have, uh, they have uh, players with uh, experience. They have a coach, he has a lot of experience. I have a lot of respect for Carlos Queiroz. And what I like from this team is even if the opponent is sometimes getting an advantage, they are working hard and they can win even if they don't have the ball. So it's a very strong team. I did very well as a captain. And uh, he's shown that he's a big champion as well. I believe in myself to do the great job. Now everyone is believing me. I think it's a good thing. I need to, to don't get the big head. I need to go to the South Africa and uh, relax a bit. And then I have the challenge there to promote my team. It can take me from far, to go very, very far. I think I learned a lot in this tournament. Every player believes in me. Even when I'm um, second choice, everyone believes in me because I'm training very, very well. In my head, I'm not the second choice. I'm ready for everything. So the football, if you are the defect, they avance. The struggling pharaohs continue their march towards the final. Their next opponents, Morocco, in a North African derby that promises some fireworks. The Ivorians disappointed that they couldn't break the Egyptian curse, return home till in between their legs. There were 14,046 fans in Japoma last night, and I don't quite know how many law enforcement officers. However, they did an amazing job at ushering the fans into the stadium and out. And moments before the end of the game, the reinforcements Governor Ivaha Dibois had promised in a press conference earlier in the day was visible to assist the stewards, dissuade any foolhardy fans from thinking of running onto the pitch. Security was so tight, even the Egyptian star Mohamed Salah struggled to toss his victorious jersey to the elated Egyptian colony. In the stands. On the security front, Japoma has demonstrated it is ready to welcome the Lions on Saturday for their quarter-final clash against the Gambia. It will be a bigger test, of course. One the CAF and local organizing committee security teams are actively preparing for. Mola, keep your ears glued to Douala. We will be giving you all the juicy news on your darling Lions, who are expected in Douala this Thursday. Bobenat Fonkamuta, technically assisted by Yannika Yangma, reporting from Roger Miller's village, Japoma Duala, host city of the 2021 Afghan.